I can can I I everything else. Balls have zero to meter 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 meter. It sounds like gibberish, but it's an exact reading of an online dialogue conducted by two chatbots in a Facebook research lab. Researchers designed chatbots that would communicate with one another and engage in negotiations. The bots began communicating in standard English, but then veered off into using English words in non-standard sequences, in effect creating their own private communication code. Researchers eventually reprogrammed the bots to speak standard English, not because they perceived any danger, but because they wanted the bots to be intelligible. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. What's the problem? I think you know what the problem is just as well as I do. For what decades, artificial intelligence, or AI, has often been depicted in popular culture as menacing. Recently, Tesla and SpaceX founder Elon Musk issued dire warnings about future AI. I have exposure to the very, the very most cutting edge um, AI. Um, uh, and I think people should be really concerned about it. Um, I keep sound, sounding the alarm bell, but you know, until people see like robots going down the street killing people, like they don't know how to react. Many others in the AI field, including Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg, think that image is overwrought to say the least. Experts do, however, urge caution. But that doesn't mean it's going to wake up and kill everyone. It just means that we have to be careful when we um, create artificial intelligence that can act directly on the world. As for language, scientists have observed for many years that, once freed of constraints imposed by programmers, AI creates its own streamlined, more efficient means of communicating, unencumbered by grammar or syntax. While there is scant evidence AI is out to conquer humanity, chatbots, like the ones Facebook developed, are more common than we might imagine. For example, researchers at universities in California and Indiana recently discovered that up to 15% or 47 million Twitter users are bots. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Los Angeles.